हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स टेक टुडेज टॉपिक टुडेज टॉपिक इज किंगडम फंजाई विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ फंजाई अलोंग विथ एक्सप्लेनेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट वी नो दैट विटेकर सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन वी डिस्कस्ड एंड इन दैट सिस्टम इट वॉज अ सेपरेट किंगडम फंजाई एंड आई गेव यू ऑल द रीजन्स वाई विटेकर हैड टू मेक अ सेपरेट किंगडम for uh, classifying fungi so we have the various reasons we discussed there and we'll do the detailing of uh, all the characteristic feature of fungi then we'll move to the understanding of the structure of fungi so let's take first one is we know that all the fungi are eukaryotes uh, you have these two words there is one fungus fungus when you have this one fungus so it is singular it is singular and when we have this word fungi fungi is plural don't be confused in this one again and again it will come so fungi is plural so when we the discuss about the fungi kingdom fungi all the members are eukaryotes first understanding we discussed earlier also except monera we take a system of classification we had all other kingdom they are eukaryotes we know about eukaryotes there is no need to explain here and when we understand the, about the nutrition fungi as uh, are fungi are heterotrophic in nutrition heterotrophic means they are dependent upon others to get their nutrition and we have a three ways so you will have a separate topic of nutrition in case of fungi here we'll discuss saprophytic nutrition saprophytic i taught you when anyone is taking their nutrition from dead and decaying part that kind of nutrition we call saprophytic nutrition we discussed about bacteria last term bacteria are also showing saprophytic nutrition some of the bacteria not all so some of the fungi are also having this kind of nutrition saprophytic so when they have the saprophytic nutrition they take their nutrition from dead and decaying part i gave you many examples there is a one commonest examples uh, common example starts from our home that is bread when we keep bread for 2 to 3 days we have the growth of the fungus on the surface of the bread you can see that powdery structure whitish structures are growing so these structures are fungus so we have very commonest that is a mucor and penicillin as example of the saprophytic nutrition so together along with bacteria fungi are also acting as a decomposer it is a natural scavenger fungi and bacteria they are natural scavenger they are just uh, taking nutrition from the dead uh, parts and in this way we have the breaking of uh, all dead parts release of the nutrients and we have the finishing of the body from the surrounding that is the very important function are performed by decomposers so we will have next one parasitic when they take nutrition from the other organisms and they are harming from where they are taking nutrition it means they are guest and uh, they can infect plants as well as animals and in that case the cell which is infected it is known as host they take nutrition and uh, as a return gift they are uh, causing diseases so such kind of we call parasitic interaction we have a uh, one example that is phytophthora in infestans this is the name of the fungus and it is causing late blight if you are not able to see here that this fungus is causing late blight late blight of potato this is the name of the disease late blight of 
potato this is the disease which is caused by the fungus we have many disease in case of the humans also dandruff is one of the commonest one then we have a ringworm that is also the commonest one these are the fungus which are growing on the surface of the skin and uh, causing infection creating that one harmful effect where they are growing then we have the next one symbiotic it means we have again association but this association is beneficial for both it means host as well as guest both will be benefited whenever we have this kind of interaction symbiosis we have a very common example of symbiosis association that is lichens lichens take the description of the lichens here here i am explaining you so lichens are the association of algae and fungi algae and fungi together they are uniting intermingling and intermingling in a way so that they lose their identity it means algae they are losing their identity and fungi they are also losing their identity and they are uniting in a way the such kind of love they have when we have that two people when they are attracted towards them and when they are in love there is such kind of intermingling so here is also we have intermingling algae and fungi they are associated in a way so that both are losing their identity and we have the formation of one structure that is known as lichens so let me explain you about lichens very important points these are the that is we have these are the lichens when we have this unions and lichens are pollution indicator this is you should write somewhere it is very important point regarding competition it is pollution indicators what does it mean pollution indicators it means lichens are growing only in those places where we have less pollution they are not able to grow in such places where we have pollution so that is lichens are pollution indicators so when you go to hill stations where we have when you start that mountain climbing on the that one you get there are various lichens which are growing on the surface of the bark on the surface of the stones at that places where pollution is less so when you visit any hill stations you can see there are growth of the lichens on the surface of the bark on the surface of the stone so that is the first one the next one is mycorrhizae there is one mycorrhizal association we call so what does it mean mycorrhizal association there are many higher plants gymnospermic plants they do association with fungi so the question is why they are doing association we need to solve this question what is the need of association my fungi are microscopic structure it is a small structure and uh, not capable to do photosynthesis so what is the need of association why higher plants are associating with fungi we have a very big reason for that one will discuss about the reason we know that that higher plants plants who are growing in that area where they have to search water like hill stations when we see that there is uh, that uh, somewhere they need to search water so that they are expanding there all the plants are expanding their areas where they can get water they can find water so for the expansion they are doing association with fungus and uh, this association is known as mycorrhizal association how will you define you can define that mycorrhizal association is the association between higher plant roots and with fungi that is the mycorrhizal association so in this way plants are uh, having increased the surface area of for absorption 
and what fungi are getting fungi are getting their nutrition and shelter as well so these are the three mm -hmm. mode of nutrition i explained here you will get the separate topic so we'll not take it after that when we that one this one cell wall this point is very important cell wall see that one cell wall is made up of chitin you should remember all the time that the fungi cell wall is made up of chitin it is a resid in nature the next one body when we see so as like we are studying about the cell is the structural and functional unit so in case of the fungi it is also the we know that cell but that cell we call hypha it means the unit of the fungus is hypha we call also hyphae and there are many hyphae who are intermingling with each other it means there are many hyphae who are intermingling and that intermingled structure we call mycelium so how will you define mycelium it is network of we call it is network of hyphae network of network of hyphae or hypha so what we are studying here we are understanding about the structure of uh, fungi so when we observe the structure of fungi we are uh, observing a intermingled network like structure that is actually mycelium but when we go deeper inside the structure what we will get will get about all the myceliums they are also having a unit structure and this structure we call hyphae we can also call hypha so when we study about a structure we have these two so when we see that one hyphae so hyphae can be septate and it can be aseptated so what does it mean septate aseptated suppose if this is a structure and here is also the structure and when we have that compartment in that one you can see when we have a, this structure so it is dividing this portion from this portion it means separating this portion is separate this portion is separate due to the presence of this structure so this structure we are calling septa what we call septa septa so when any hyphae any mycelium is having septa it is known as septate mycelium septate hyphae hyphae and when septa is absent it is known as aseptate easy very easy to understand so this is aseptate aseptate this is the concept so septa is the dividing structure which can divide one portion from other that is simple one septate aseptate easy to understand but here we have nucleus so we can see the difference in between two conditions here we have the individual nucleus at one portion here we have the mix so this condition is known as multinucleate condition this one is what we call multinucleate condition multinucleate condition and we also call cenocytic condition there is one word that is known as ceno cytic condition ceno cytic condition what does it mean multinucleate condition is known as ceno cytic condition and why we have multinucleate condition because we have the absence of the septa in some hyphae so that condition is known as multinucleate condition absence of the septa we will not have the separation of the nucleus so the this point i explained you about the structure you will get hyphae mycelium septate aseptate when we have septate septa is there we call septate when septa is present the hyphae is known as septate and when there is a absence of the septa 
सेप्टा इज द डिवाइडिंग स्ट्रक्चर वेन देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ सेप्टा वी हैव ए सेप्टेड कंडीशन सो दैट दैट्स वेरी सिंपल नेक्स्ट वन इज दे आर नॉन मोटाइल वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड नॉन मोटाइल इट मीन्स दे कैन नॉट मूव दे डू नॉट हैव लोको मोटरी स्ट्रक्चर दे नीड मीडियम फॉर द मूवमेंट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस नॉन मोटाइल इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन से नॉन मोबाइल आर दैट एनसीन टेलीफोन fixed at a place so they are like ancient telephone fixed at a place nowadays we have mobile we can take mobile where we are going so they are that kind of a network where we had a receiver and it was situated at a place so when we have to move we have to, when we need movement we have to that one take and put somewhere else so in that case also we need that one and we know that uh, plants and animals are having their stored food material so in case of the plants we have stored food material that is starch but in case of the fungus it is uh, glycogen it is also the question in competition glycogen is the stored food material of the fungi always remember this point starch is the stored food material of uh, plants who having chlorophyll doing photosynthesis but in case of the fungus glycogen is the stored food material what about our cells we have also the stored food material in the form of the glycogen and the when we have the reproduction we have a reproduction by means of spores and these spores are huge in number that's why they can grow faster rapid rate of reproduction fungi are sowing and it is due to the presence of various kinds of spores and these spores are helping to enhance number of the fungi so that is the description of the fungi we'll take the detailing of the that one reproduction i explained you about uh, structure and nutrition so we'll not we uh, won't discuss about the structure as well as nutrition but we'll take the reproduction portion so that's all for today we'll meet again goodbye